Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex is Shook reaction. And I am super excited because today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new video. And this one is actually called Beezing Update, Target Haul and Negative Thoughts. And this is a vlog. Throughout the past couple of vlogs that we have seen from Amber, she made it clear that this breakup wasn't mutual, and then she started Weight Watchers. Yesterday, we took a look at day one, and a lot of people were upset with that video because it didn't seem like she was making any progress towards any sort of sensible weight loss journey. The point of Weight Watchers is to steer people away from getting takeout. That's why the points are so high, and she blew it on on two takeout meals, using up over 80 points. There has been rumor and speculation going around on Twitter that she's using her highest weight ever, 572.4, in order to get this massive amount of points. I don't know how true that is, but I did try to calculate her points using different calculators on the internet, and none of them gave me 80 points. So something seems fishy about this but I haven't signed up for myself, so I can't say 100% that that is what is going on. But it's almost like she turned on the camera and said, I'm gonna fail today, and that's what she did. All that and more coming up on today's reaction. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Of course we should. All right, let's get started. My hair looks a little bit interesting. I mean, I was just laying out in the sun, so you guys know the vibes. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. <laughs> Hey girl, one thing she hasn't done in a while, huh? Got some sun. Looking a little pale, my friend. You know, some vitamin D would do her good. <laughs> Not me LOLing because you see that little string like poking out that you're supposed to hang on the hanger. Just chilling on my chesticles. Yeah. So as you guys know, I'm trying to daily upload for 15 days. So today would be day three. And I was going into it like... I like the little lace moment. It's kind of giving like grandma's nighty, but fashionable. Make it fashion. I do like a lot of what I ate today videos. I literally just got done editing. If you have a hunchback, throw some glitter on it. Go dancing. <laughs> Yesterday's video, which was day one on Weight Watchers, what I ate today. And I was like, I cannot do that for every single day. Like that is not something that like. Yeah, girl. I mean, you're spending all of your points on these takeout meals where there is like no nutrition. Your body's starving for nutrients. And you're using up all of your points. You can't eat anything for the rest of the day. That's not the way to go. Sounds enticing to me at all in any sort of way. Um, so Yes, it does. That's why you quit Weight Watchers in the past because it allows you to get fast food because it allows you to eat junk food. This isn't just going to be a bunch of what I ate today videos. That's not what's happening. Y'all editing this is torture. Just seeing this stare me down. Ugh, I just want to fix it and move it, but I can't. It's driving me crazy. So I just had to make that very clear. I'm I don't know why, but I'm not as amused by that as she is. Actually currently uploading that video because I just got done editing it. So then I'm going to schedule it for it to go up for you guys. All right. Business woman Lynn is cranking out these videos. I was thinking she was going to disappear for a while because she took that four day break. Her and Feline, obviously their relationship fell apart. She's been nowhere to be seen ever since she came out to speak her truth with Amber Lynn, guiding her on her own truth. You know what I mean? And then Becky came out and said she was being silenced. Yikes. But I thought she was going to disappear for a little while, but good for Amber for sticking to this, doing her job, showing up for work today. <laughs> I am like on time with videos. Um, so yeah, today's actually the 21st of July. And just to prove okay. my point, is there anything that I... Can we see a calendar? Can we see a phone with the date on the phone? Should not be showing on here. here. Let me just do it on my phone. I was using the calendar on my computer but there's just so many like personal things on there that i just like yeah. I'm like no nah. but here you can see it is the 21st of july i still don't know if i believe it so i'm actually about to go to target because if you guys don't know that's always been a thing with amber her putting up videos very late there was a time in 20 <laughs> where she was uploading videos from the beginning of June and it was the end of July. And so people were so confused. We saw the clip of her on Eric and Ricky's porch and you could tell that she did not lose any weight. So people knew that her diet she was doing on the videos must have fallen through. 
I have ran out of ink in my black pens. Before you leave that apartment, you better freaking fix that shirt first, girl. And I need new pens. Like, I have been journaling so much. It has helped me through this time. More than you know. More than you know. Cute and quirky Lynn with the journals. I... Everything about journaling is not only therapeutic, but it's satisfying. Sometimes it could be hard, but it's just like worth it. So I need new pens so I can continue journaling because that is very, very important to me. That's all. She's like that meme where she's holding hands with the therapist, but she's looking at the journal. It's so important that you fix your damn shirt. Y'all, I just got back from Target and you'll never believe. I forgot not only my phone. Do you guys think that she's still talking to this therapist? I mean, she has said that she is still working with the WLS therapist. I guess they're associated. They're not really like a WLS therapist, I guess, but they're associated with the clinic. Is she still working with that person? She said it was a good fit. And for Amber, a lot of the times it doesn't work for her. So it would be nice for her to find someone and stick to it, although she is leaving soon. So maybe she'll use that as her excuse. My camera, my purse, that is a rarity for me. Um, <laughs> How do you forget your phone in 2023? Like, I would be lost. That's weird. I. How do you pay? How do you get directions? Like, okay, forgetting my camera, that's understandable. How do you scroll Twitter? But forgetting my phone? <laughs> my phone's attached to me constantly. So... I do have a little target. I think she's lying. I think she was actually using a scooter and she didn't want to show it. Oh, first thing I got is the Papermate Enjoy Gel uh, black pens so I can get to journaling again. My last black pen literally ran out of ink. Middle of a word last night. I was so sad. <laughs> I also got some putty blush. I love a blush moment. I'm wearing a little bit right now. I'm wearing NYX, um, but I want to try this e.l.f. one and it's putty. I don't know how I feel about the putty. I mean, I have seen that on like TikTok. Not that I use blush anyway. So this is in the color Bora Bora. So just saying. I also got my favorite eyeliner. A lot of people ask, what's your favorite eyeliner? A lot of people were triggered by the way that she was holding that makeup brush. <laughs> Yeah, that's the signature cat eye. If you want to look like Amber Lynn with her signature cat eye, get the e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, jet black. It's what I wear literally every day. Besides, not right now because I'm doing like a purple, like a dark purple moment. Does she still use the better than S.E.X. mascara? I don't know if you guys can tell. And as I was in the journals, I saw these cuties. Daily chirps with this cute little bird. Like exactly what we needed, another journal. Look how adorable. But then this one. How many journals has she given away? It says stay golden. I do think that this goes hand in hand with her food consumption. You know, she has to buy things. She likes to buy the food and there's a rush associated with that as well. It all goes hand in hand. She is just the queen of overconsumption. It doesn't matter what it is. Dollar store junk, stuff from Target, or even $100 worth of stuff on Timu. If she can buy it, she feels great when she gets that package coming in or doing this little haul coming home from Target. Target. Look how adorable that doggo is. So yeah, I've been journaling a lot. So I make use hand of all my journals. Hand. Don't be getting mad. Okay, you guys. So I've completed a hand and hand. That looks like it kind of reminds me of the clock in Beauty and the Beast. Same colors. Another wannabe Lego. It's like a retro phone moment. Wannabe my A. And here is the little phone Hello. device. I'm high. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Oh my God. I just am having the time of my life and I'm already starting another mm -hmm. one. Yes, I am. Like these wannabe Legos are definitely so much cheaper than the actual Lego brand. Like I can complete five of these for the same price of just like one Lego. Oh yeah, Legos like out of control, 200 bucks. I want it, but I can't. Sometimes even six, like you never know. Y'all, these, I'm about to have- Although when I buy one that's like 200 bucks, it takes me like two or three days to get it done. Like a serving or two. Uh, serving is 12 cracker crackers. Chicken crackers. and a biscuit. I used to love those growing up. I didn't know they even had those still. Crackers, folks. They're crackers now. Crackers. Oh my God. These are... Basic English Lynn. Chicken and a biscuit. And when I was like a little girl, I'm talking like five, mm -hmm. six, seven when I still lived with my parents Samesies. for Thanksgiving, before Thanksgiving, like while the turkey was in the oven, while the mashed potatoes were being cooked, you know, the whatever we had for like the main meal. 
Well, they should have been keeping you away from the snacks, right? You're going to ruin dinner on Thanksgiving. I would never be allowed to snack on Thanksgiving. They would do like an appetizer thing. They would have like olives out. They would have okay. salamis. They would have cheeses. They would have crackers. These oh, some salami on those or some sort of lunch beat. Sweet bologna. That's my fave. Crackers. Always these crackers. So as a little girl, I correlated all these foods with just Thanksgiving. So stuffing and turkey. Stuffing. Uh -huh. And cranberry sauce, like all of that, I would just mm. correlate that. As no cranberry. Oh, you only have it like one time a year. And I felt the same way about these crackers. And then I think I was like Those crackers. 17. I'm just like walking in the cracker aisle. It was very rare that I was at a grocery store, I'll tell you that. And I saw these and it was like in the middle of summer. And I was like, it is kind of surprising, like, if you look back to her childhood, that she was, you know, obese at such a young age, even going through what she went through. <laughs> with her parents just not being in the picture. Oh! <laughs> I was shocked, for sure. Or when they were, it wasn't the best situation. These little guys? I still remember when she took the Girl Scout cookies when she was, like, 10. I think she was in a foster home. She, her first bees, she took a box of Girl Scout cookies into the closet. So good. So freaking good. And I feel like for 12, that's a lot of cracker. I had three before I started filming. She's getting 12. Okay, so I want to go through my... Can you stop it? Just 12, girl. <laughs> I feel like the thing that she has to do is take them out first before you even eat one. Take them out. Dishes and stuff because a lot of them you know like don't have the whole box i'm not keeping and there was stuff up there couldn't reach them but my lovely ex-girlfriend <laughs> my friend feline oh that's hard to say ex. um she got this stuff down these were in here i forgot i even had these plates like what were way up there but since i am overly short i could not see them cannot reach them like this is me standing straight like that is what i see at eye level <laughs> like that's how short i am so yeah I'm about to go through these. Um, I don't want to go through everything right now, but I do want to go through my mugs. So I'm gonna... Oh, I always wanted the chip mug. I always see that at the bookstore. Do that. I honestly... It's the Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what dish set I plan on keeping. So we'll see. Um, so I don't know what I want to do with those yet. So I'm going to get rid of this. No. This guy. I want it. I, which I... Girl, sign it and send it over. Literally had for forever but i don't like it's just gonna be me like a single pringle living on her own i don't need all this um so i'm gonna get rid of this one I love girl you didn't even need it all to begin with let's not play ariel um she's actually my favorite princess but uh, i think i'm gonna get rid of it i love this cup so much it has a cute little dog on it so i'm gonna keep it i Doggo. also really enjoy this mug because i like to use it for like chilies or soups Chilo. so i'm gonna keep it so for now these are the last two i'm trying to decide yeah, somebody said also in the comment section she could have made a bunch of her chili and had chili all day and she still wouldn't go over 80 points. She has to be a lot more smart, a lot smarter about how she uses these points. It's ridiculous the way she blew through them yesterday. If I'm going to keep or get rid of. Honestly, I think I'm going to keep both. This one has um, a kitty cat all over it. It's so cute. And then this one has a llama. And then on the inside of it, it says llama get right to it <laughs> so i just think these are adorable so keeping those okay so my eye this one is so red and irritated i don't know if it's from the so swollen is it from the cats did she have eggs makeup but we're taking it off is she using that timu makeup so i'm taking my makeup maybe that's what it was up off literally way before Probably. i normally would I really want to start wearing makeup again um, in my videos because Timu girly. I feel like crap, so <laughs> I don't want to also look like crap. I think that's why, like, after my breakups, I start wearing makeup more and stuff because I just feel so... She's trying to get that new caretaker, girl. I bet those Instagram DMs are blowing up. She's got, like, five women just waiting to move in. Sad. Like, I always feel like I lose a little bit of self-worth. So now she's putting that makeup on to get that new, the new arc, new girl, you know, but whoever's the new girl, you better be on camera, girl. Any that was like left. It's a prerequisite to date Amber Lynn. And with, to be honest. And everyone always says, you know, when you're hurting. Look at me dictating her relationship. 
give yourself self-love and my version of self-love goes from building legos to taking walks outside which i took one earlier to wearing more makeup did you washing your hair more than you usually would she took a walk she glossed over that journal for an extra 10 minutes okay so she's doing some extra things for herself to get through this breakup you know just anything could be self more me time love self health you know there's a fine line between self-love and narcissism plus i've just been like feeling super shitty about no i like the things she's doing i think walking yeah that's good journaling sure why not how i look like very shitty i don't know what it is but it's like worse than ever like i just feel super ugly self-conscious i think it's the sodium you know i waddle when i walk my legs look like tree trunks like my arms are absolutely mess. girl we need to keep in mind the lipedema and not go with these kind of choices of course you're gonna feel bad the next day of like the list can go on and on and on it's just like a lot it really is like for her and her lip edema situation, yeah, it's going to make a difference overnight. She could swell because of all the sodium and take out food. I have self-hatred. So I have to... And she wants to come on and say that we don't understand. I've looked it up. I understand. You don't seem to make a single positive change. Then you wonder why people aren't sympathetic. Out of my way to do that self-love, you know? Okay, you guys. It's just sad at this point. Hi. <laughs> my eye has been scratching or itching and I've been scratching it. She was so red earlier, I don't know. Itchy and scratchy. Still is. I was petting on wasabi and I am allergic to my cats, so that's probably what it is, honestly. But anyways, I still wanna do the popsicle sticks, which has 56 questions. I've heard Maybe wash your hands, girly. Answer two, because you guys did take the time to ask these questions. I took the time. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that, to write them to down. To them out, write them all down and all that. And I just think it's a fun concept. So I do want to answer all of them. Obviously not all right now. Remember she said F the popsicle sticks. But eventually I do want to answer them all. And then maybe we could like get 56 more questions and it could be like a fun little game or like a fun little section in my video. And maybe I could add more than 56. Maybe we could do- Yeah, sure. I guess use it. A hundred. I'm just kidding. Okay. So- Let's... 100 Days of Trolling, part two. Do one. That's Number nice. 30. Three zero. Put her in there. Okay, so question 30 is, do you think you have binge eating disorder again? Honestly, I don't know. Bees eating disorder. I feel like I have been... Oh, wait, remember there was that whole thing because she convinced us that, yeah, she has bed. But then when she saw the doctor, they said that she didn't. And then she convinced the doctor. No, I think she has it. But she was convincing, trying to convince the doctor that she didn't have it because they weren't going to give her the WLS. But now that that's off the table. So she was convincing us that she didn't have it as well. But now that the WLS is off the table, she can be honest again. Jean. So I was told when I was an outpatient that you can binge and not have binge eating disorder, that there are people out there without the disorder who do binge. That's like only if you binge a couple times a year. Um, but if you're doing it a couple times a week, mm -hmm. then that's when there's definitely an issue. And for issue? me, it's been happening a lot. Uh, probably the worst my food intake has been in a very- Post breakup. Very long time. Do you guys think that she's trying to make Feline feel bad? I almost want to say, I see worse that a lot. than it's been in a couple of years. Hey guys, so I'm getting so tired, but I wanted to just do- Worse that it's been in a couple of years. A lot of people say like we're on our road back to 2019. I don't want to go back there. Like that's scary. A really quick PO box. So someone sent me a whole like braille- A whole chicken. Book. Like this is all braille. And I know Ooh. I'm 32. I have never seen or felt braille in my life ever and um, what she's never felt it ever like it's literally on every bathroom um, i'm starting to actually screen <laughs> <laughs> all of my p.o box because i recently had multiple amazon packages that were like massive and heavy what does that mean screen it full of like sweet cakes like <gasps> i'm talking like oh my gosh now who would do that? I've received at least- You're just wasting your money. That's wrong. A hundred like 
boxes like this size like boxes of like debbie snack cakes and stuff like that like it's insane so oh i have gosh. been trying to open my packages as soon as i get them so i can screen them who's doing that go through them feline helps with that still if she notices something that's not funny that's wrong even before i do that'll like trigger me or you know upset me or whatever she'll throw it off I mean, she'll throw it away. Um, so I already opened these things. It was actually yesterday. A hundred little Debbie snack cakes. But I wanted to shout you guys out. And when I opened this, I don't know what it was, but I cried. I did. I like sat there and Why? I felt it. And it's just, it's powerful um, for many reasons. I don't really want to like get into it, but the story is called My Name is Maria Isabel by Alma Flor Ada, author of- That's kind of cool. I never seen a braille book. Dancing Home. So I don't know why it was sent to me, um, but regardless, like, I'm glad that it was because I got to feel it and just appreciate people who can only read Braille. Um, it's just like really powerful, honestly. So the last thing uh, that I want to show you guys for now- Appreciate people who can only read Braille. Girl, the way that you word things, I get what she means. She's being nice. She's being kind. But the way that she words things sometimes. Now is this is from Renee. She sent me a Lego. I'm super excited to complete it. I will definitely. Oh, it's another Bago? Let me show you, Renee. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it so much. This is like a wannabe Lego. As you know that I call them and you know I enjoy them. And it's just super. Blueberry Fago. Sweet of you to get this for me and think of me. I just appreciate it so much. So I'm gonna add this to my little tiny pile of uncompleted Legos. So I'm actually about to take me some of my melatonin. This is the best. Oh, the Ollie gummies. I tried the stress ones. Melatonin in my opinion. They don't work. Opinion. It's for Ollie me. sleep melatonin. Love it, definitely helps. Um, but I'm gonna go. So this is day three of 15 days of uploading daily. Hope that you guys are enjoying. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. You guys and then what, is she just gonna disappear? Know the drill, you know how it goes, bye. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I feel like the main tea that we got out of this video is that someone behind the scenes sent her 100 Little Debbie snack cakes. That's absolutely insane. Amber didn't really show any of her diet today, although she seems to be leaning in towards telling us that she might have bad again because her weight loss surgery is not on the line. She said not every day is going to be what I ate today, off track, on track, but I do still want to see how she's logging her points and stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. All right, bye, guys.